So in this demo, we want to look at desired configuration management. Uh, so we've already spoken a bit about desired configuration management and what we're trying to accomplish. If we expand computer management and we come down through our various different features, like software updates, software distribution, operating system deployment, software metering, and so on, here we've got desired configuration management. And under that, we're going to find configuration baselines and configuration items. So we'll be looking at this in more detail. But the bottom line objective here is that we want to scan a set of machines to determine and report on whether they are compliant with a configuration um, that we desire them to have. So in other words, we define as a business what the baseline configuration should be. We decide that you know, it should be configured in XYZ manner, certain settings, certain configuration items, control panel items, registry items, uh, and most importantly, probably security items. So a, a configuration that is the desire. So if we desire it to be that way, we need to be able to check and report on whether any configuration has changed over time. So we in, when we initially deploy a computer, in particular servers, uh, it might be set up just the way that we want it and according to our, co our company policy. But as time goes on, those things can float. We apply certain patches that make changes. We uh, have too many administrators on a machine that might make changes in order to try to solve problems. And little by little, we become um, uh, essentially displaced from what the desired configuration is to some different configuration. Well, We need to know about that. We need to be able to report on that. So what we're going to end up with are um, reports or essentially information that's being gathered and sent back into the config manager environment where the agents are comparing what their current configuration is to what the desired configuration is and then uploading into the config manager database any differences. And if I were to go into reporting and go into reports and scroll down a little bit, we can see computers, here's drivers, uh, devices, so I might need to look for desired uh, here we go configuration baseline assignments configuration of uh, baseline assignments for a computer summary compliance by configuration baseline summary compliance by configuration item compliance for a collection by computer so in other words we can start to report on compliance and there's a bunch of them up here details details compliance details uh, how compliant are the machines in our environment, right? So it's a number of different reports that we can report on, and we can use that information then to go back before there's a security breach, before there's a problem, and get the machines to be compliant with the way we want them. Now, to get this all set up, we have to start by turning on the agent. So as we've done with everything else, we go under Site Management, Expand Site Settings, and let's go in here to Client Agents, and you'll find in there the desired configuration management client agent. Go ahead and open that up. And as with all the others, all we really have to do is enable it. And we can take all the default settings if we want, or we uh, can change a couple of things. The main thing we're changing here is the schedule. The default is to run every seven days. Now, what is that doing? That means that once every seven days, it's running the comparison report, right? So it's taking the desired configuration baselines that we're going to look at in a moment and running uh, a scan of itself compared to the baseline, right? And then reporting back at that time any differences that it has. Okay, so it's just a schedule of how often is it going to do this. Even if we implement new baselines, even if we implement new um, items, configuration items that it should be looking at and scanning, and comparing itself with. Even if we introduce new ones, it's going to only run the actual comparison on the schedule that we specify here. So we can, of course, go custom if we wanted to. Click customize, and we can see a number of different options here. Custom interval. Uh, we could do monthly if we wanted to. Recur every one month on the fifth day of the month, let's say. Or we want it to occur weekly on Tuesdays. 
every one week or every two weeks, however you want to do it. Let's go ahead and click OK. So we now have this custom schedule happening, and that's the day that computers are going to run their desired configuration component. So let's go ahead and click OK. And what we have now is we've enabled the client agent. But as you know, all of the clients uh, don't get the new changes until they check in with a regular polling interval. So that could be uh, another 60 minutes. You know, in our case, in, in this lab environment, we change that to every 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes, all of our clients are going to check in uh, and get the new information. Now, in this case, the new information is simply that we've turned on the agent. We have not yet configured uh, what they're supposed to scan for. So that'll be the next thing that we look at.